Hello friends, this video on crop production and management part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are crop production practices, soil preparation, sowing, manure, fertilizers, irrigation, traditional methods of irrigation, modern methods of irrigation, protection against weeds, harvesting, and storage. So what do you think are we going to learn in crop production and management? So basically here let us try to see uh, what is this crop production and management related to. Our little friend went to visit a village very recently during his last vacation. And he was so amazed to find that a village looked so different from that of a busy city life. Like in cities, we find tall buildings, a uh, lot of vehicles, a lot of traffic, a lot of pollution, less greenery. However, in a village, he could see vast green fields, a lot of small houses, a lot of open space. And he was so much excited to see the green fields all around. Now, do you know the significance of these vast green fields? What are they used for? How are those green fields useful to us? In fact, useful to each and every human being. So these vast green fields are used for agricultural purposes. Now, you might be thinking, what do we mean by agriculture? So until and unless you don't know what is agriculture, how will you understand? What do we mean by agricultural purpose? So let us see, what is agriculture? Agriculture is the practice of farming. And what do we mean by farming? Farming is nothing but uh, taking care of plants to grow more and more crops. When I say crops, you might be thinking, what again is a crop? Well, when we talk about farming, in very simple words, what we mean is to farm or to grow fruits and vegetables and other eatables which can be eaten by human beings. For example, all of us are surviving. And for survival, one basic thing that we all need is food. And what do we eat in the form of food? Either fruits or vegetables or grains, for example, rice, wheat or pulses, something of that sort, or we depend on other animals. For example, uh, we eat fish, meat, eggs, or some animal products like milk and other dairy products. So these are the food items which we normally eat, right? So in order to provide these food items to us, somebody needs to grow them. So that is what is called as agriculture. So agriculture would include cultivation of crops, where different types of crops will be cultivated. Now, a little later, we will talk about what is a crop. I mean, what exa how exactly do we define a crop? So we will take, we will explain that a little later. Rearing of animals. Now, why do we, what do we mean by rearing? Rearing means taking care and bringing up animals for human benefit. Now, animals can benefit us in a lot of ways. For example, they can provide us milk which we can consume and which has a lot of nutrition. So, for example, cow, buffalo, goat, they all provide us milk. They can also provide us eggs. For example, if you think of chickens, so we also eat them. We also eat their eggs. So, eggs, milk, meat, these are some of the animal products which are rich in many uh, proteins or carbohydrates and thus are consumed by human beings. Now, if I want to have, I, if I want to drink milk coming out of a cow, so I also need to take care of that cow. So, that is basically called the rearing of animals and all these things are taken care under animal husbandry. So what do we mean by animal husbandry? So this entire concept of taking care of animals, bringing them up for human benefit in the form of milk or eggs or meat. So that is, you know, that entire concept is or that entire process is known as animal husbandry. So we will discuss animal husbandry uh, in detail later. So what I'm trying to say is when we talk about agriculture, agriculture is not only about growing fruits and vegetables, it also includes rearing of animals. I mean, basically agriculture talks about 
everything which we consume in the form of food so agriculture is the practice of farming which grows everything which can be consumed by human beings in the form of food so that is agriculture now the question is our little friend wants to know why do we cultivate crops or rear animals i mean how important is to have food basically that is what he is trying to ask so let us answer him how important is agriculture now just for a moment think of anything that you eat now if i tell that okay from today there is going to be no agriculture we are not going to grow anything you will not get any fruit vegetable or milk meat anything available in the market so you can start eating up the table you can start eating up the chair so do we eat all those stuffs no we don't so what do we eat so we eat either fruits or vegetables in some other other form either raw or cooked or we eat animal products like meat fish or egg or maybe food grains for example rice wheat corn or even if you're fast food if you consider the pizzas and the burgers which you uh, eat when you go out so from what are they made up of even they in turn are made up of what is your bread bread is nothing but made up of wheat again if you talk about uh, the juices which the packed steamed juices which you drink they are also derived from some of the fruits or the fruits flavor so directly or indirectly they are all dependent on the basic fruits vegetables or the cereals or your dairy products again they are also obtained from animals so whatever we eat or drink or in fact the food items based on the basis of which we are able to survive so they all need to be produced at the same time now just think about it we all eat fruits and vegetables and all these some of these stuffs now do you think for example you want you eat one apple every day or any other fruit or any other vegetable whatever you eat every day so from where do you get them your mom prepares them for you but from where you get the vegetables maybe from the vegetable market right so but from where does these vegetables come to the vegetable market because we are not growing these fruits and vegetables at our home right i don't think a lot of us are doing that that means somebody else is doing that for us now if whoever is doing that for us if he stops doing that what's going to happen to us we are not going to get any of these food items and we are actually going to starve so that important is agriculture so food is required for the survival of not only you and me but of the entire population so the entire population is dependent on food and food is derived directly or indirectly from plants and animals so now you can imagine how important is food for the entire human population because this entire population of human beings they eat food the food gets digested inside their body and then the food provides energy to each one of us to perform various activities so if there is no food we will not have energy to do anything and gradually we will fall weak and the human race will not be able to survive without food therefore food production has to be there to fulfill the needs of the human population and food production the process of food production is basically taking taken care by agriculture so that is where agriculture plays a very important role so with this i hope that i have been able to answer the question that why is agriculture or why is cultivation of crops so important so our focus in this lesson is going to be on basically three things food production food storage and food distribution so now are we all set to start learning about each of this yes looks like everybody is ready now so with this brief introduction on this lesson we will first talk about food production thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again